Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to calculate the forces and lateral deflection of goal post frames using simple equations. Goal post frames are appropriately referred to as double posts, with single beam frames that use a moment rigid connection. Post and beam construction is commonly used in smaller and domestic scale construction projects. One specific application is for restraining gable walls of houses around large window or door openings, thereby stiffening the masonry or timber frame or something similar. They can simply be modeled as shown with pinned bases. A different method makes use of the relatively simple empirical equations that can be obtained for single story goal post frames. The following equations are a summary of these equations. It is recommended that you check the frame using this simple condition. Wind, dead, and live loads should be combined as necessary by superimposition in the column, beam connection. For lateral deflection the frame, should be limited to height over 300, for a clad structure. To height over 500, for a frame bracing masonry structure. In other words, for a story height of 2.5 meters, deflections, should be limited approximately 5 to 10 millimeters. Let's go through these equations with an example. We have a goal post, with 2.5 meters height, and 5 meters span, that is subjected to a wind load of 15 kilonewtons at the eaves. The vertical loading on the beam is 30 kilonewtons per meter. The column section is 203 by 203 by 46 UC, and the moment of inertia of this section is 4,570 centimeters to 4. The beam section is 254 by 146 by 37 UB, and the moment of inertia is 5,540 cm to 4. First, let's calculate bending moments in post from wind loading. The bending moment is a result of the wind load, equals wind load, 15 kilonewtons, times the height of the post, 2.5 meters, divided by 2, equals 18.75 kilonewtons meter. Next, Using this formula calculate the bending moments in the beam, from the uniform distributed load of 30 kN per meter. First, we must determine these constants K and N. Constant K equals, post height, 2.5 meters, times beam moment of inertia, 5,540, divided by the span, 5 meters, times column moment of inertia, 4,570. This gives us a constant K value of 0.606. As a result, constant N equals 2 times 0.606 plus 3. This gives us a value of 4.212. Consequently, beam end moment equals the vertical loading on beam of 30 kN per meter times span squared, which is 5 meters squared, divided by 4 times 4.212. This gives us a value of 44.51 kilonewtons meter. Then, calculate the beam midspan moment, which equals WL squared over 8, minus the beam end moment. Therefore, 30 times 5 meters squared, divided by 8, minus the beam end moment 44.51 kilonewtons meter. This gives us 49.24 kilonewtons meter. Following that, Calculate the sway deflection as a result of the wind load. Deflection sway equals this formula. Therefore, wind load 15 kilonewtons times 1000 to convert it to newton times height 2.5 meters times 1000 to convert it to millimeter to 3 divided by open bracket 6 times e which is the young's modulus of steel 210000 newton per millimeter squared times column moment of inertia 4570 times 10000 to convert it to millimeters to 4 close bracket times 1 divided by 2 by 0.606 plus 1 this gives us a value of 7.43 millimeters Finally, let's work out the beam midspan deflection. This calculation is an approximation, but it will suffice for the purpose at hand. 
In general, the wind sway deflection is the more critical when designing goal post frames. The mid span deflection equals this formula. Therefore, 5 times vertical loading on beam, 30 kN per meter, times span, 5000 mm, to 4, divided by 384, times 210,000, times beam moment of inertia, 5540 cm to 4, times 10,000 to convert it to millimeters, minus, 0.8 times 2, times, beam end moment, 44.51 kilonewtons meters times 1000 by 1000 to convert it to newton millimeters times span 5000 millimeters to 2 divided by 16 times 210000 times beam moment of inertia 5540 centimeters to 4 times 10000 to convert it to millimeters therefore Deflection mid span equals 11.42 mm. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.